And now it's time for today's guest. Jack Watkins is the CEO and designer of Propaganda Agency, a modern retro fashion brand that prides itself on unique patterns and sustainability sourced alpaca and Pima cotton offerings. Here to tell us more is Jack Watkins. Hi, thanks so much for going on. Hi, Jack. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Hey, Good, how are you? Welcome to the table. Hi. We thank have you. Um, multiple chicken offerings for I you see if you that. like to engage. Um, thanks for joining us today. Tell us about Propaganda Agency. What, how did you get started? Uh, well, I kind of started, I worked for a, another brand called Band of Outsiders for a while. Mm -hmm. And once that kind of ended, I took a break, went to Mexico, was kind of hanging out in this little town called Toto Santos. Mm -hmm. um, super kind of little artsy town. I was looking at all the patterns and the blankets and the things around town, was buying things and kind of going like, oh, I'd like to make this into a sweater somehow. And, mm. and it kind of just started from there. And it literally, I came home from that trip and called a couple contacts that I had in Peru. And was like, hey, can we, let's do some sweaters and sent them the blankets. And that's kind of where it took off from. That's amazing. And you grew up in LA. Yeah. So how did that sort of influence the brand and the company? Um, or did it? It, it, well, the whole LA vibe is there, right? Yeah. Like that kind of light, airy feeling about the brand. We try to keep things very bright. I don't mm -hmm. like blacks um, with the clothes and things like that. I like to keep the colors very bright. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Definitely not. I know. <laughs> it's okay. I'll do a black sweater just specifically for you. Um, but more, I think more, it was kind of more influenced from more of a 70s type of thing, like mm. the ska, the rude boy vibe. Yeah. Growing up with that, I was always wearing cardigans and um, Chinos and Fred Perry and Ben Sherman and those sorts of brands Your were kind of influenced. Chill. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Well, there's the LA thing coming, yeah. coming through, right? So, what is your typical day as CEO designer? Um, not that exciting. Mm -hmm. It's uh, primarily like a lot of emails. I do. I also deal with our production, our development, our sourcing, our design, um, our social media. Um, so, it's it's kind of scattered. It's whatever is urgent that day. I'm even running around from factory to factory, picking up, you know, embroideries and picking up prints and taking them back to the factory and picking up fabrics and things like that. Sure. So it's a lot of just very random, right? Kind and, of things. And you mentioned um, Band of Outsiders mm -hmm. and um, Scott Sternberg is a big influence. Like, how is that having him as sort of an influence? Huge. Huge. Um, I didn't really have a process before I worked for him. So it was kind of by osmosis, just sitting there, kind of kind of soaking it all in and watching him do his thing, that I literally, when I went to Mexico after, I came home and I started looking at, how am I going to do this? And how am I going to construct a brand? And how am I going to do my mood boards? And how am I going to do all that? It was just kind of there. Mm. And I realized, like, oh, I'm picking all this up from just watching Scott do his thing. Right, yeah. From day to day, yeah. And can you tell us more about the vibe of your collection that it puts off and like kind of what you thought it would look like and how it changed throughout the process? Um, I kind of always knew the bodies and how those were going to, going to lay out, which is I've, I've stuck really close to, which mm -hmm. was like the chinos, the cardigans, shawl cardigans, and I love sweater knit polos and things like yeah. that. So that hasn't really changed. I think along the lines we've done a lot more with embroideries and prints and things like that, which I didn't see coming. Um, I think in the very in the beginning, it was very much like a classic, basic kind of thing. Mm -hmm. We were going to do a lot of solids, not too much, but we've obviously changed that. With, I'm wearing like yeah. alpaca embroidered yeah. chinos. So yeah, <laughs> nice. you can see the evolution over the last few seasons for sure. Has yeah. gone more playful, more mm -hmm. nostalgic, a little bit more 70s with the colors and things like that. So. Yeah, so you talk a lot about the 70s influencing you. So how mm -hmm. directly was that influence? Were you like looking at past photos or were you just kind of like listening to old bands and being like, come to me? <laughs> <laughs> it's all of that, actually. Oh, it's nice. um, looking at a lot of photos. I like love watching old movies, mm -hmm. um, old documentaries about like ska and stuff like mm -hmm. that. It's, it's very inspiring for me. So it, it's everything. And then actually even going back through my closet, because um, I've been kind of, wearing Fred Perry and Ben right. Sherman and that forever. So pulling out old sweaters and pulling out old chinos and pulling out all those old clothes and yeah. it just makes it a lot easier to kind of have that reference there. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, no, I'm really into it. I'm really into the bringing back of the cardigan. I haven't worn a cardigan in so long and now you're inspiring me. I really want to start wearing cardigans again. It's <laughs> ironic because I ran into uh, the doorman in my, in my building the other day and yeah. he's like, I love 
I love the cardigans. He's like, nobody wears them really, right. but when I see them, he's like, they're just amazing. Yeah. He's like, I want to see more of them. And I'm like, well, I'd love to see you buy more of them. <laughs> <laughs> so can you talk to us about the emphasis on sourcing from the finest, you know, baby alpaca and prima cotton yarns and how that, and how Peru is involved? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I started doing manufacturing for other brands in Peru probably a decade ago. Mm. So I was kind of learning. I didn't know a whole lot at that time about like the Pima Cottons and the alpacas and all that stuff. So I kind of learned that through time. Um, and then it just became something coming of passion for me, mm -hmm. um, learning about why is alpaca so special? Mm -hmm. Why is it even considered better than maybe even a cashmere? Because it's non-allergenic. It's the, the animals themselves, they don't have hooves. They have feet mm -hmm. that are padded. So when they walk and they herd, they're not tearing up the soil and they're not tearing up the plants. And when they eat, they just nibble. So they're kind of like the perfect lawnmower, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So they're not tearing the plants or the, the grass out of the ground with the roots and everything else. So um, it's just an amazing yarn. Wow, learning so much yeah. about animals. Um, and also this, I like that your brand is like an emphasis on sustainability. Mm -hmm. And can you talk to us why that's so important, probably so unique to you guys? Well, I think it's, I think it's incumbent on all of us to, to take responsibility for our environment and understand you know, there's a lot of practices in manufacturing that are not good for our environment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So anything that we can do to make sure that we're you know, taking care of our own environment is important. Absolutely. Well, Jack, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, today. thank you. We really thank appreciate you. it.